Midnight Sun. into the jaws of your enemy courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates just play the hero this is the fire dragon all over again fire dragoon my memories may be fragmented but as I recall I killed the bastard and all it cost was a village Oh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda? She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. <laughs> You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. More or less. We'll talk more later. Huh. Get some rest. Okay out there considering you were technically dead 72 hours ago. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, oh. given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid six out of ten. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. Your support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. <laughs> Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. <laughs> I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. H horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. 
Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. I like that last one. journal. Huh. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. We were all so happy then. Huh. The only thing you can do is close your suit. Mike's are sleeping in chain mail that armor. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. Oh. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. Cool. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. <clears throat>
Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk. on the hunt, right? Next thing I know, the Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. Heard you had a nightmare. In the words of Akami Ito, don't be afraid. Bad dreams are only dreams. Something about the whole alien thing threw off the mojo. That explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? I'm a vampire. I see everything. <sighs> this is gonna... Hey, hey, Hunter. Oh, check out Blade making nice with the big guns. I thought Caretaker told me. Fascinating. Ah, I see. What is this? Leave the beast and made it so. Interesting. Son of this land. Break the chain. Our fire or hurt. There's something. Hmm. 
There are cracks in this wall. This is which sign? Your respects. Yes, sir.
you feeling all right? You'll be back to your old self in no time. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Uh -huh. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, <laughs> I found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well huh. hammered, well fired, Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Uh. Still think I could have used a cloak. Your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Physically, I am fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, water your itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. In any event... I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the sanctum sanctorum that was lost yesterday, it was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. <laughs> Hmm. 
That creature on the roof, you have run into it before? Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. It sounds like Spider-Man is Venom's nemesis. Maybe he has some insight. Of course. I have no doubt Spider-Man will prove to be an invaluable asset in the ongoing fight against both Venom and Lilith. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum is shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Ley lines? Often dismissed as pseudoscience in the modern day, ley lines actually represent the convergence of magical energies formed within the Earth itself. Ancient civilizations built their temples along these lines, tapping into the power flowing through them. Two such lines converge at the Sanctum's location. Needless to say, the wards benefit greatly. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. And you have been keeping an eye on her? You make it sound like I've been guarding her. My role here is merely one of friendship for as long as she needs it. One thing is certain, she refuses to step foot on the Abbey grounds for any reason. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. <laughs> Intriguing. This up sunshine I hate to admit it but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient or carbon neutral certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected speaking of what's the verdict boss it is nice having an armorer on demand anytime I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing was this close to making it menthol. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact resistant carbon composites, some patent pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. 
Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. Gamma seems to be a recurring theme these days. Oh, you think I'm bad? You should ask Bruce. Actually, don't. He's been really sensitive since... You know what? Never mind. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic. Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. What sorts of things are you doing? That's right. You're out of work. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. I am impressed with your resourcefulness. From where you're standing, I could see that. Still, I doubt I'll be branding one of these with the Stark Industries logo anytime soon. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy <laughs> struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. It was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. You seem well adjusted enough, considering. Exactly, which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? What have you got for me, boss? Hmm. Let's see what we've got here. Take your pick, Hunter. Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. Hunter, when you have... 
have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child The Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Mm. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd mm. be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No, but that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anyone else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy <laughs> going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. 
He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anybody else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anybody else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? I am ready to train. Finally. Time's wasting, Hunter. thing peace like the way you move out there hunter guess dr strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect i'm carol carol danvers but you can call me captain marvel kidding carol's fine just thought i'd throw a bone to the avengers pr team not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the Funky Bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. <laughs> Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Hunter. Sub. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right, then. Later. All it takes is a little blood and a random phrase to make you disappear for good.
going. See you around. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to... Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive encryption, net transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened. Or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards development... Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. Not bad. Hmm. Probably can scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Yo, Han Fanoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. <laughs> Calls himself Faustus now. Dr. Faustus, smartest fantastic in the room. It's a small room. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah. I don't do stealth. Kill them. Well then.
I always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Monsters are wild and unpredictable. These rentamarks have no gumption. Time to play. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? Take this! You should have known better. Ooh. One way to take them all out.
perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device. Marvel won't be too happy about this. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? get any stronger. They cannot possibly match your strength. high levels of gamma and various unknown energies unknown to you there is dark magic at work here we must not let hydra escape with it i saw a move like that once centuries ago 